Hello guys from Open Gate. everything's fine with you, with us everything's okay. Before we start this video, subscribe to our channel, if you're not a subscriber, activate the bell so you don't miss a thing. You can already let us your like because it helps a lot to keep doing this work that we do for the animals. Let on the comments, where are you watching this video from? Tell us, we would like to know where are you watching this video. Share this video and let's go today. Hey guys from Open Gate, everything's fine with you? Here we have Renato. Okay, so guys, here is the place where Renato came to hoof the owner of another, he acquired another animal and the animal came with a hoof problem. As you can see, Renato is going to perform the procedure and the caretaker is already trying to prescribe some medication here in this animal. I'm going to show you first. It's, it is the second animal that I have seen like this and there is a wound here on the frog and the boob, in other words, it's a spongy meat. So, you know, it could perhaps have a formation of canker or, you know, or the wound of the frog. There is another meaning for canker, to tell you the truth, I don't know what is it to, to put in, in a tissue that grew from here and apparently it's a difficult tissue to cure. We even have some worms here, that's why I call it us. Well, you know, you can see that there are some larvae and what we have to do here. I'm going to perform the, the, the hoofing because the animal needs this care and also going to perform a small treatment because there is already a previous treatment being carried out with iodine but the iodine 10% after a certain time it stabilizes so I'm going to perform a treatment similar to what it to what Fernando e João Paulo from Rufus Brutus do Casqueamento do no but they they use it there to cure and here we are going to use this time to burn this tissue, drying it, and as the horse is easier, there's no need to make a boot like they do on a cattle. We're just going to do the dressing, and every three or four days that the guy uh, is going to come here, and we're going to cut the knife until we get the right form, the right shape for this region of the boob and the frog. So I say all of these guys based and what I know about the work because we had the whole idea in our heads but in the middle of the way we ended up changing our minds because the hoof shows us that it must be done because it's different and in what it might need so it can change the idea. Some professionals regardless of the area always start with a project and often end up not finishing the project you know as planned because something caught along the way and that is what is more enjoyable because it allows us to learn a little more and does not allow us to be the owners of reason She's a tame mare, but she's not used to being hoofed and it's allowing us because she's really tame. Yo, calm down. Animals that are not used to being uh, hoofed, you know, it's I don't put so much in front to do this because they cannot have like a nervous reaction like that move away from me because I just want they to get calmer and every time I touch her hoof she will get more used to chew it
The frog is very soft. It's not good too. If it... Well, if it, it stays, it's, it starts like this, you know? Let me know, but then the animal moves with force. I'll pass the products here. Let me go through the inner part here. On horses' hooves, we don't apply many products over the top, uh, but more like a moisturizer because the horse's hoof dries out more and because it's a, a line, it just ends up cracking. So a moisturizer is more necessary than a more aggressive product that only follows in some cases where the hoof is very soft in cases that we have very strong disease in which we pass, but it's it's not very good to use. In the case that we are using, I will stop there, you know, and we are passing on the external part of the hoof only if it's necessary. It's a simple procedure, but practically with daily care for three to four days and a little handling in removing the meat that dries out, it's possible that we are going to have a nice result helping the animal, you know, and this can also be a guideline for those who need it. This is something that is common to happen. And, you know, with a simple sheep care, you can take care of the animal in this situation. And if you need it to. That's the right procedures and the results come right, guys. So, we are going to show you the recovery in this next videos. Stay with God, everyone. And see you next time. Our motto is to listen to those who have no voice to be heard.